<laughs> There's that Kaiser that everybody loves. That lovely sound. All right, guys. <clears throat> we are out here on the back porch chilling. And I uh, just want to do a quick video. We've got some things coming up tomorrow that uh, some of the people that already know me are aware of. And some aren't. Um, I'm having a, a pretty pretty big surgery tomorrow. It's a, a hip replacement on the left side. And uh, this, uh, sorry, I forgot to introduce my, my co-pilot. <clears throat> this is Easton. Easton, say hello. Hi. You gotta say it loud. Hey. Hey. This is my son, Easton. He's my eight-year-old little, uh, little devil dog. He wanted to be in the video, so he's now a YouTube star. But uh, this is this is Bama Knife Kid. I'm Bama Knife Guy, he's Bama Knife Kid. So, he knows how to flip a knife pretty good too, he's good at it. But um, anyway, so yeah, I'm having a hip replacement surgery tomorrow. I found out in, um, I guess it's like October probably, that I've got a, a, a bone disease or something like that. It's a, it's a version of avascular necrosis. Uh, which sometimes avascular necrosis can be caused by by injury to a bone or injury to a joint. Mine is not, so they, they assume that it is hereditary and it affects my hips. Um, so I've got uh, my right hip is starting to get there, but my left hip is, is completely collapsed. The, the, the femoral head or femoral head is collapsed completely. Uh, so yeah, I walked around Blade Show with Steve from Super Steel Steve and uh, Vinny with Nero Knives <clears throat> and my homeboy Corey uh, Glasser. We, we walked around Blade Show uh, for a couple days and man, it was it was brutal. But <clears throat> obviously, I'm a I'm a fan of edged items, so I, I pushed on, I pushed through it. But yeah, so tomorrow at, at 10:30 Central Time. Is, uh, is my hip replacement surgery, so I wanted to make everybody aware of it because I'm sure you guys are gonna be seeing some videos from me uh, over the next week or two while I'm recovering. So I'm sure everybody would be kind of wondering why I'm shooting videos from my bed or, or if I'm, you know, doing my, you know, flick the knife out and walk around. If, you, if it looks like I'm struggling or I might be on a cane, that's why. <clears throat> it's gonna be a struggle, but um, shouldn't be too bad. Uh, so I'll, I'm sure with the extra time that I've got on my hands, I'll be putting out a few videos. Um, so um, that, that's pretty much what this was about. So I just wanted to give a couple shout outs to the people in the knife community that I, I love to death and uh, that, that you know are super cool to me. One being my buddy Super Steel Steve. He's been super cool, super uh, supportive, always an awesome guy. <clears throat> He's the dude that gave me that, that Code Steel Code 4, which I so graciously forgot to put on the table here. Uh, and then the Neves, Jared and Karen Neves, uh, those are my buddies. Love those guys to death. And uh, so yeah, I'm sure uh, I'm sure I will never do a video again without leaving, you know, without mentioning them. I can't leave them out like I did in my first video in my intro. <clears throat> so there you go. And uh, to the guys that I don't generally speak to, but that I love watching, you know. And and if if it wasn't for all of those guys indirectly. Uh, I wouldn't be doing a YouTube channel, so they, the content that they put out and their contribution to the community is the reason that I started doing this. So, uh, and that includes uh, Stasa, that includes uh, Patty, Patty's Potato Pillars. I love that guy, man. He's he's awesome. Uh, even though I'm Scottish uh, and he's Irish, but I, I think that's okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, Sad Nada, Pete's an awesome dude. Puts out great stuff. Uh, you know, it's. Guys like him are, are the reason that a lot of guys like me are getting into this thing. Him and Steve, uh, uh, Outpost 76, Banner 24-7, Tom Hosang, all these guys doing these, te these tests and, and, and holding these manufacturers accountable, they're the reason that, that a lot of guys like myself are starting to, to do this more to help compile this data. So it's, uh, <clears throat> it's only right of me to give them a shout out whenever we shoot these videos and just, you know, kind of just, even though they're already on the map, just kind of make sure that everybody keeps their name fresh in the front of their mind because uh, these are the dudes that are, that are leading the fight, man. These are the guys that are out front that are consistently, you know, holding people accountable and making sure we're getting what, we, what we're supposed to be getting. Alchemy One uh, is another great one. That guy's awesome. Uh, and uh, Sean, uh, Triple B, awesome dude. Um, these guys are, are just, you know, cool people, man. So if you guys aren't subscribed to them, make sure you go do that. 
straight away. Uh, the Neves, the, it's Neves Knives, um, Alchemy One, Stasa 23, uh, Super Steel Steve, Outpost 76, Banner 24-7, Tom Hosang Outdoors, Alex's Knife Box, and on Instagram, that's Alex underscore Knife Box. He's a great dude. He's a new channel on here that definitely deserves some love. So, so make sure you go give it to him. But <clears throat> so that's pretty much it for the video. Real quick, I'll tell you what I got on the table because everybody's always interested. Uh, here, I'll, I'll move you in a little closer, real quick, so we can get a good shot. <clears throat> Let me just pull you right on in here. <clears throat> We're shooting a video. That's my my wife right there. Say hey, Kelly. Oh, you're still doing it. Yeah. So we're shooting. So uh, she. It's okay. But anyway, so everything that's on the table is first is Spiderco smock, of course. Cause I'm a Spiderco dude. The the big clinker, the the Kaiser Sheepdog XL. The big. Uh, I call it the clinker because of the sound it makes when it opens. I really like it. The <clears throat> Spider Co. Military. This is the uh, the carbon fiber and titanium S90V version that everybody loves because it's wonderful, including myself. And uh, next is the one that Easton wanted to have out here. He, he chose this one to be on the table. This is my S90V Manix 2. <clears throat> Gerald will, uh, will appreciate this one. He loves a Mannix and so do I. It's one of my favorite knives. Fits my hand probably better than any other knife. And last but certainly not least is the first one that I'll be doing a video on when I come back from my surgery. And that is this Kaiser Nomad uh, designed by Dirk Pinkerton. Love this thing. It is a big, long beast of a knife with a Persian blade. And I sanded that crazy black coating off of it and then just did a quick heat anodization job on it with a torch just to kind of give it a little character because it looked just awful and uh, I've got a coin from uh, from my buddy Nathan over at Patina to EDC coins on Facebook if you if you don't know who he is man definitely go check that guy out I don't know I'm, I apologize if he does have a YouTube I'm I'm ignorant to it so I do not know if he does but I'll find out and if he does I'll put it in the uh, in the uh, the notes at the bottom there in the description but on Facebook, it is patinaed, the word patina with an apostrophe D, patinaed EDC coins. And he does some killer, killer work. This is just some of the ones that I've gotten from him. I hope that's focusing enough for you guys where you can at least get an idea of the stuff that he does. He scallops the edges and just puts these just awesome, awesome finishes. If you've got silver or copper already, then he can patina it for you. He does black patinas, he does aging, I mean, his stuff looks super authentic, man. You could set a, a, an authentic aged silver piece next to a, one of the ones that he does, and I guarantee you couldn't tell the difference. He does a fantastic job. This is also from him. Uh, this is a, a, <clears throat> a copper pry bar that he made for me that is that's awesome, and he does all the work on this. He does the beads, too, and uh, just, just does really, really good work. So anyway, Patina at EDC Coins uh, Facebook group. If anybody's interested, man, shoot me a DM. Uh, either on Facebook or Instagram because uh, it's an invite group and if you can't find it on Facebook shoot me a DM and I will uh, I'll be sure and, and get you uh, added to the group <clears throat> and then of course I got my, my piece laying here which is my Glock 19X that's the one we got out here on the table to protect against all those wild creatures right right give me a thumbs up put it over here come on give me a little thumbs up boom give me some knuckage boom and then because I can drink nothing else right now <clears throat> some good old great value drinking water but anyway that's it that's what's on the table and i think that's it that's the only thing other than my my forerunner key and some airpods <clears throat> oh wait i lied i got a to you i got a to you in my pocket forget forgive me if i get this guy's name wrong but i think it's dave warren is the, uh, you want some water? Here you go. Forgive me if I get it wrong, but I think his name is Dave Warren, the guy that, that does To Your Knife. And uh, man, that guy does some awesome stuff, man. I'm sure everybody's familiar with the the post that he put up with the apology on the, uh, the M390, where I think it was M390, forgive me if I'm incorrect, <clears throat> but there was some, some HRC testing, some Rockwell testing that was done. Some of the numbers came back low. And he got ahead of it, unlike every other manufacturer that tries to dodge those bullets. 
he jumped right out in front of it and caught the bullet as it went by and threw it on the ground. Dude did some awesome, awesome stuff posting up <clears throat> that if anyone had any issues, you could uh, you could send the knife back and they would they would either refund your money or, or get you a new one with the correct numbers or I believe you could keep the knife and they would give you a credit toward another knife. There, it was just super cool and they got ahead of it and that was that was awesome. I am I was already starting to take a look at to you. I bought this to you knife Cebu. This is the micarta version. I bought it at Blade Show. Uh, you'll be seeing a review on this one coming up here soon as well and it is phenomenally smooth and I really do like it but so I was already taking a look at Tuya because of that but after he did that man I think I'm right there with everybody else on the fact that 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 was freaking really classy really cool ballsy and, and he gained my respect and he's got a customer for life <clears throat> um, barring some kind of crazy decisions that, that go against what it seems like his values are I will definitely be buying to you forever so uh, definitely proud of that dude. <clears throat> but anyway, that's it guys. Um, so I'm going into surgery tomorrow uh, around 10 30 11 o'clock central time. I will probably do an Instagram post or something when I come out just kind of letting everybody know where I'm at. It may be me doing it. It may be my wife. She's got instructions to to kind of keep people updated and uh, <clears throat> yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So uh, that's it guys and gals. I love you and we're out. We out? We're out.